So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how that effect is done. It's really, really easy. So first thing, shoot a footage of your close-up eyes. And after the first blink, I'm going to make a cut here. And I'm going to drag this on top. And I have to make this a freeze frame. So come to clip under change clip speed, change to freeze frame. Extend this to your liking. I'm going to uh, leave it something like this. Once that is done, uh, right click new fusion clip. Then come to fusion. Under fusion, uh, let me just drag this down. The very first thing is bring in this ellipse node and just join it to your media in and just uh, adjust the ellipse to your pupil. Let me press invert here and just adjust your uh, ellipse in such a way. You can uh, maybe increase the soft edge to a little bit. Once that is done, we have to bring in shift spacebar image plane 3D. So this will convert this 2D footage to a 3D base. Let's disconnect this media out and from uh, the image plane 3D, shift spacebar, duplicate 3D, press add and then we need uh, merge 3D. So again shift spacebar, merge 3D, then render 3D. And then from the render 3D, you can join it to the media out. And to the merge 3D, press shift spacebar and press in camera 3D. So basically what it does is the image plane 3D converts your 2D footage to a 3D space. Then you need a duplicate 3D to create the duplicates. Uh, then we need a merge 3D to merge all of these together. Before going to the media out, you need a render 3D. Then the camera 3D is for the keyframing, which I'll be showing you in a bit. Now the very first thing is come to image plane 3D under under transform, just adjust your Z axis until your uh, complete footage is visible. So just adjust it slowly so that you don't see any checkerboard on the side. Once that is done, let's come to duplicate 3D and create 10 copies. So press 10 here and change the Z offset under translation to minus one. So it has created 10 copies and there's a slight Z axis offset. Then you come to camera 3D under transform, you need to do the keyframe. So on the first frame, press a keyframe on the Z axis. Then go to the last frame, adjust the Z axis until you see the checkerboard completely in frame. If you don't think this is in the center, you can, you know, just adjust the X offset like this so that it goes right through the center. Once you're happy with the result, you need to come to render 3D under settings, enable motion blur. You can leave it as you like. I'm going to leave it something like five. That's it. And then what you can do is bring in your uh, secondary footage right under this footage. So this is going to be a drone clip in my case. And what you can do is you can add in a minor fade like this. And then once you add in your sound effects and sound design and a cool grade, this is what you have. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. That's pretty much it for this video. For those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel to can filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.